All right, the first thing that we need to do, mainly because it takes the longest amount of time, is get our penne pasta cooking. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. And as part of that, I think, Karen, do you think we need to add some olive oil yes. to the water? We yeah. want to drizzle just a tad bit of olive oil to keep the pasta from sticking. Do we and need to get that, wait for that to boil first? Yes, or? we need to bring this up to a boil. So we're going to hold off we'll, on adding the pasta. We'll wait till that boils and then we'll add the pasta. Okay, to start our sauce, it's a... Uh, vodka cream sauce oil so what is this this is uh, okay we have extra virgin olive oil uh it's for sauteing and stir frying so we're going to add that i'm going to put a little in the bottom of the pan just so nothing sticks just lightly cover the bottom of the pan put that to the side just going to make sure we cover the bottom of the pan do we have to wait okay, for that to heat up? We're going to bring this to a temperature of probably medium. So we got to wait for that to heat up. So then... in the meantime, while the oil is heating, we are going to mince some garlic. Okay, we got to mince some garlic. So what you want to do is, you see the root side? You just want to cut, cut the top of that off. Because everything in this garlic is held together by that root. Cut that off and the rest of it will just fall apart. Just like that. Garlic is always hard to work with. But we do what we need to. How many cloves, Karen? Three. Three? All right. <clears throat> so don't spend a whole lot of time trying to get the uh, skin off of the garlic. Just find yourself the largest three. Let me clean my board off here a little bit. And then if I just smash these, put my knife on it, smash them. The skin will just be much easier to remove, just like that. Now I'm ready to, to mince it. You want to rough cut it first, get your fingers out of the way, go back and cut it up again. This doesn't have to be really tiny. This is going to go into the sauce and it'll just melt into that sauce. And that's good enough. Okay, next we're going to take one pound of Italian sausage. We're using the roll of its Italian sausage. You can also use the sausage in the casings. You just need to cut it out of the casings. Easiest way I find is just to cut it all the way down. And then we just kind of roll this sausage out of here and we just sort of chop the sausage up in the olive oil. And wait. so we want this to be in little crumbles, right? We don't yes, want big so chunks. we want to wait for it to start cooking. Okay, as this cooks down, we'll just chop it up into little pieces. 
and we'll come back when this gets uh, starts to get brown. Go. Okay, we're just going to stir the sausage to make sure it's getting fully browned on all sides. Looks like it has a little way to go. We're not cooking it on high. We're just going to cook it on medium so it doesn't burn. So Karen said this needs to be chopped up. Want to get it brown on all sides. No pink. No pink. Oops. Are we ready to add the garlic yet? Yes. You can add the garlic. Okay. Now you got to be careful with garlic because it'll burn if it's too hot. But we've got this on pretty low. So we want to stir fry or mix the garlic in until we can start to smell it, the fragrance. So we're trying to bloom the garlic flavors into the to the meats to the sausage. I can smell it. How's that looking? Looks looks good. It just needs to sit a little bit. Needs to get browner. Yes. Okay. So the sausage and the pasta are now starting to look brown. Sausage and the garlic. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sausage and the garlic. <laughs> and we're ready to add the uh, crushed tomatoes. So we're going to use this uh, can of uh, crushed tomatoes. How many ounces is this? 28. 28 ounces. So we just pour that in. And just stir it up. It already looks pretty. So you're going to just kind of bring this to a gentle boil. And what do we add next? Okay, we're going to add some sea salt flakes. In this case, we actually have Mediterranean salt flakes. Since it's sort of a Mediterranean dish, we're just going to sprinkle some on here. And actually adding the salt to the tomatoes makes it uh, less acidic. It smells good. Uh, since we used regular Italian sausage and not hot Italian sausage. Or spicy. Or spicy. So if you wish. We like you it a little spicy. Add crushed red pepper. So if you have kids, you may not want to do this because that'll be too spicy for them. Or if you use uh, hot Italian sausage, you can leave this step out, depending on how hot you, or spicy you like it. So we're going to blend all this together. And we may want to add some pepper. Some black pepper. Black pepper. Just a little bit, not much. That's good. And you got that on medium high or medium, right? Yeah. So it's now it's cooking on medium. You can see how delicious this looks. This looks wonderful. To top this off. We are going to add one pint of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. So we'll shake it up. And we will slowly pour in the whipping cream, which is going to pull it down. So 
So now we're just going to blend the whipping cream with the sauce. Oh, it looks pretty. So luscious. So now we just want to let this simmer. While well, our pasta. We need to get the pasta water started. Water comes to a boil. And then while the pasta is cooking, we'll just let this simmer. Um, at this point in time, if you actually want to add the vodka, you can actually add vodka, which we will on our dish. So we figured we would just put a shot of vodka. One shot? One shot of vodka. It really doesn't add much to the taste, but... Um, that's the original recipe. Yeah. They call this vodka panne pasta. Yes. Um, when we originally found it, yes. I don't know how many years ago, 30 years ago. So basically the alcohol cooks out. So you may get a tinge of flavor, but you're not going to. It doesn't change it a really, lot. Yeah. Yeah. The alcohol is not going to have any effect. Just to stay true to the original recipe. So we're just going to turn this on medium low and just let that simmer a while, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and it'll start to thick up. In the meantime, we can start working on the pasta, right? What we're going to want to do just to make this look really pretty is to have some Italian parsley chopped up on top. So I'm going to select some, some parsley leaves, maybe that many, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to rinse these off in the water. And I just want to rough chop these up. And then I'll go back and chop them up a lot finer. Stems and all. Except for those big stems. That's fine enough. You don't want to get it too fine. There you go. We'll put that on the top. Okay, it's time to go ahead and add the panay pasta to the boiling water. Put the whole box in there. Just give it a quick stir. And we want that to come to just past El Dente. We don't want it too well done. So we'll wait for that to come back to a boil. And from time to time, you want to stir that pasta. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. Okay, we're ready now that the sauce has thickened and it's ready for the drained pasta, which is done. And I, I taste tested it till it was not al dente. So now I need to add the pasta to the sauce. And the reason you add the pasta to the sauce and then stir it is because pasta, that penne pasta has all, it, you know, they're hollow. So you want to get that sauce all throughout the pasta. If you notice, we used a pretty deep uh, frying pan to be able to cook this in so that we have enough room for the pasta to be added to the sauce. Oh, 
Okay, it's all ready to go into the serving platter. Beautiful. Now you can add to that by putting some Parmesan cheese on your own plate. I'm going to put some of this Italian parsley on top. That looks very nice. And when it's time to eat this, I suggest some garlic bread and some uh, Caesar salad. It's beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope your family enjoys it.